Yes, let's start with the post-mortem examination of a case of alleged case of poisoning. Here we are giving this midline incision. from epigastrium to the umbilicus we are extending it below umbilicus this is a layer of subcutaneous fat alleged case of poisoning as per the records by police and by admission file they have put a query whether this is a case of aluminum phosphoric poisoning so these are the abdominal muscles we are dissecting these muscles So we are suspecting we are you know we can smell smell the nature of poison in this case it's a very pungent strong smell and now we are going to open the stomach to see the gastroepiploic vessels they look like you know stitches around the greater curvature of the stomach We are trying to pull out the whole length of stomach from cardiac and to pyloric sphincter along with the contents. We will cut it and put it in the tray and open it to see the nature of mucosa. Mm. Congested. It's congested. Yes, mucosa is congested, but uh, stomach is almost almost uh, empty because the patient has been treated here. So most probably they would have given some, you know, gastric leverage. This is the spleen. We have to take a part of spleen for chemical analysis we have to send it to a vessel for chemical analysis this is right kidney so half portion of right kidney and now we are looking for liver This is the liver. 
so we have to take a part of the small intestine as well portion of the small intestine that is to be kept with the stomach that's it so that's it that's 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 the end of this postmortem examination that's not exactly the end but we have to you know close the body and uh, we'll take uh, we'll decide whether we have to take a blood sample or not we'll collect the blood sample can I blood sample as well so thank you thank you that's it thanks for watching please like subscribe and share thank you